cloning. Animal cloning, like the case of Dolly the sheep, typically involves a process called somatic cell nuclear transfer, SCNT. Here's a brief overview. 1. Donor cell. A somatic cell, cell from the body, not a reproductive cell, is taken from the animal to be cloned. 2. Egg cell. An egg cell is obtained from a female of the same species and its nucleus is removed, leaving an enucleated egg. 3. Nuclear transfer. The nucleus from the somatic cell is inserted into the enucleated egg cell, creating a reconstructed egg. 4. Stimulation. The reconstructed egg is stimulated to start dividing and form an embryo. 5. Implantation. The embryo is then implanted into the uterus of a surrogate mother, where it can develop into a cloned organism. This process essentially replaces the nucleus of an egg cell with the nucleus of a somatic cell, resulting in an organism that is genetically identical to the donor animal. Dolly the sheep was the first mammal cloned from an adult somatic cell using a technique called somatic cell nuclear transfer. This landmark event took place in 1996 at the Roslyn Institute in Scotland. The cloning process involved transferring the nucleus of a somatic cell into an egg cell, which had its nucleus removed. Dolly's birth raised ethical and scientific discussions about cloning and its implications. However, human cloning has not been successfully achieved and there are significant ethical and technical challenges associated with attempting it. Many countries have regulations and bans on human cloning due to concerns about the potential misuse of the technology. Cloning technology has potential benefits in various fields. Some perceived benefits include 1. Medical advancements. Cloning could contribute to advancements in medicine, such as producing tissues and organs for transplantation, studying diseases, and creating animal models for research. 2. Agricultural improvements. Cloning animals with desirable traits could enhance agricultural productivity, such as animals with high-quality meat or increased resistance to diseases. 3. Species. Conservation. Cloning endangered or extinct species might aid in conservation efforts, helping to restore populations that are at risk. 4. Biotechnology and industry. Cloning can be used in biotechnology for the production of proteins, enzymes, and other useful substances.